exposing the secret life of John Adams. It is with significant regret that I must inform you today of the following John Adams is not what he seems to be. In fact, for the past four years, many of you have come to know John Adams as a provocative blue-collar economist heading from Wollongong, railing against the establishment on a whole host of economic, political and public policy topics, in particular warning about record debt bubbles and impending economic disaster. Now, I only met Adams in 2018 and I did do a few checks, but really Adams and I were only ever supposed to do one interview about household debt back in June 2018 for my Walk the World channel. But I somehow fell into a relationship with Adams which has developed, well, frankly, a life of its own, especially with the creation of this channel and its recent growth since January 2019. In many respects, he is unconventional and there was something which always, well, worried me a little bit about him. I could never really put my finger on it. But as you know, Adams has a knack of getting people's attention and getting into trouble. In the course of doing so, he has pushed the boundaries and together we have actually achieved some really big wins. He was instrumental in getting the RBA to be more transparent about their gold holdings in 2018, stopping the $10,000 cash transaction ban in 2019, and writing the lead 32-page Senate inquiry submission about bail-in in 2020, plus exposing the silver problems with the Perth Mint in 2021. Many of you have told me that Adams has helped make sense of the world and to understand what's going on. He's always been controversial, and on several occasions he has probably pushed the boundary too much. I should know when Adams upsets you, because I tend to get emails full of complaints. There have been several occasions where I've thought that Adams, in fact, had lost his mind completely. On social media, Adams on many occasions has come off as completely unhinged. A couple of highlights includes his claims that the 2020 US presidential election was rigged or that COVID-19 should have been allowed to rip through the community. His anti-lockdown and hardcore anti-vax tweets made him appear, well, again, unbalanced. And these instances have resulted in him losing supporters, not gaining them. His rants about the silver market resulted in Kitco Metals Incorporated chasing him with a cease and desist notice in April 2021, with threats of bankrupting him at the New South Wales Supreme Court in 24 hours. And many people have written to me and said that they can't reconcile the analytically minded Adams on IOTP and the blunt and aggressive conspiracy theorist Adams on social media. Many of you have told me to stop associating myself with somebody this crazy. And in one instance, I received over a dozen emails from one person telling me to cut Adams loose. Apparently, according to chatter on social media, Adams is obsessed and loves dancing in April for some reason. I have no idea what that was about. Nevertheless, for some of you, Adams is not your cup of tea, but... Many of you have come to consider Adams as a trustworthy and dependable person. However, if only life was that simple. Many times in life, the people you tend to trust the most will let you down because there is a side of Adams that many hardly know much about. And while everyone was battling COVID-19 lockdowns, public health measures and surging inflation in 2021 and 2022, Adams actually was living a double life. In the darkness of the shadows, Adams was lurching while people weren't watching. Much of his public commentary about COVID-19 was camouflaged to hide his secret life and his secret activities. Even his own family had no idea about what Adams was up to. I hear all was not well within the Adams household. The effects of his secret life still linger within the Adams household today. In the interest of the people, actually stopped broadcasting for nine months. And many of you wondered, why did the show stop? Well, while I had my own personal battles with my late wife, Jill, the reason why we stopped was because Adams went missing. 
rumour has it, he spent some time in a room looking at each of the four corners. It was only many months later that Adams resurfaced as a changed man. He told me that he'd been on a secret quest and that it was so sensitive that his personal security was at risk. Initially, I thought that Adams was full of it and that he was pulling my leg, but then he showed me things which got me thinking. At this point, Adams again went missing for several more months and I asked him to come back on the show and he said he wasn't ready. He couldn't resume his normal life until he was able to get a package and ensure that it was delivered to its final destination, all very mysterious. I think Adams had become obsessed to the point that he truly needed professional help. His obsession had become a psychological psychosis that was making his personal life spiral out of control. Financially, he'd stopped working and he was instead burning cash at a healthy clip. Naturally, I tried to assist, but frankly, I was left utterly baffled. After all, I have been reporting about Australians in financial stress, and the last thing I wanted was for Adams to join those torrid ranks. Moreover, I kept thinking about that package. What sort of package was Adams on about, I wondered. I couldn't keep my curiosity at bay, and I sent Adams a message and asked him other question. The package that could literally land me in jail or dead, he responded. Adams told me that the package would change his life forever. He said it would either be his greatest victory or his greatest failure. And he told me that the quest to secure the package was the most difficult journey of his life. The level of difficulty, Adams told me, was harder than anything one could ever imagine. He, in fact, sent me the following words. To dream the impossible dream, to fight the unbeatable foe, to bear with unbeatable sorrow, to run where the brave dare not go, to right the unrightable wrong, to love pure and chase from afar, to try when your arms are too weary to reach the unreachable star. This is my quest, to follow that star, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to fight for the right without question or pause, to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause. And I know if I only be true to this glorious quest that my heart will lie peaceful and calm when I am laid, I rest. Well, frankly, at this stage, I thought he'd not only gone bonkers, but was somewhat melodramatic. Adams would advise to stop by many people. Forget about the quest and the package, they said. Focus on your career and your children. Focus on what is precious and what can make you wealthy. Don't interfere into things that don't concern you. He was even told that in his world, there are sometimes things that should be left alone and that no one should touch at all. Turn a blind eye and look the other way, they told him. However, Adam said no. He said that no matter the danger, no matter the sacrifice, no matter the expense, no matter whether his family and friends abandoned him, the package came first, last and everything in between. He even gave up dancing in April earlier this year to the disappointment of some of his inner circle. A fair maiden in the lands occupied by the Wicked Witch of the West was particularly shattered upon hearing this news. Now, at this point, I should say that many people who follow Adams on social media platform Telegram believe that he was making this all up. All his talk about the package was a fake ruse, similar to the claims of Ricardo Bossi and his stories about the white hats. People these days want to believe in miracles, they want to have hope. However, all too often in recent years, people have been let down. The past two years has seen an ugliness in Australia and around the world, which has not been seen for many decades. People want to see a ray of sunlight, but all we can see are grey storm clouds gathering and a thunderstorm about to hit. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have unfortunately lost that way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery. Now, I'm glad to say that one man's obsession did earlier this year become reality. The package was delivered and a miracle beyond all miracles was achieved. The package has been opened and its contents are now being examined. However, this is only the first stage. What happens from here is unclear and it'll either be talked about around the world or fizzle out.
into nothingness, into the ether. Now, the credibility of this channel and that of Adams hangs in the balance. Either you will stay glued, watching Adams and I, or this channel will be shut down after you all abandon us. Now, in the coming few shows, in the interest of the people, we'll be exposing the secret life of John Adams, who he is really, and why he was missing for all those months. What was his secret quest all about? And why does he keep on making references on Telegram about the package? Is he really the person you think he is? Or is he a completely different person? Is he sane or is he a modern day John Quixote tilting at windmills? In fact, exposing John Adams will likely be the most explosive revelation in the history of this channel. So we hope you tune in in the upcoming shows and all will be revealed.